As some of you know, I'm very involved with one of my client companies, a virtual public square for political debate called Only Honest. Earlier this year, we were repeatedly hacked by a group claiming to be affiliated with Anonymous, and we were basically crippled. The hacking was bad enough that we lost thousands of social media followers, and we were even featured in a CNN Money article about how cyber attacks can devastate a small business. We're finally back up and running now, but I wanted to give you a few tips that I learned the hard way about how to prevent a cyber attack from taking down your website. Now, we thought we'd vetted our developers thoroughly, looking at past work and checking references, but we didn't realize that we should have asked specifically about cybersecurity when we were interviewing potential development teams. If you don't have a techie on your team, I highly recommend that you find somebody knowledgeable enough about web development who you can trust to help you vet potential developers. But even if you decide to go it alone, you should ask each candidate specific questions, like how would you identify a hacker's attempt to intrude on my website? How would you recover from a successful defacement of my website by a hacker? And how often will the data about database and code be backed up? Any developer worth his or her salt will be able to answer these questions without any hesitation, and everything should be backed up weekly at an absolute minimum. You should also do research on your own so you can ask your potential developers about known vulnerabilities. A simple Google search or some time spent in help or discussion forums for whatever platform will be used to build and host your site will let you know what the latest vulnerabilities are. If you ask your potential development team about these known vulnerabilities and they have no idea what you're talking about, you should probably look for a different team. You also want to make sure that everything is kept up to date as most platforms, for example WordPress, which is one of the most popular platforms, frequently issues updated versions that will patch those known vulnerabilities. Ask the team how often they check for new versions and how soon after a new version is issued they will update your site. In addition to vetting your development team, it's also a really good idea to invest in an SSL certificate, force your users to use strong passwords, also require admins to use strong passwords that they don't use for any other site, and make sure that you and not just your development team have a backup of all the code and databases in case something should go wrong. It's impossible to completely hack-proof your site, but hopefully these simple steps will help prevent you from suffering through the stress of a cyber attack like only Honest had. Did you find this video helpful or fun? Then share it with a friend who you think would benefit from the dish, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you never miss any of the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your business grow. And you get to see my adventures through the wide world of entrepreneurship and how I use the freedom running my own business gives me. Also, remember to head over to kcosta.com so you can get in on the conversation about how to build your business to success so you can live your life your way.